Hello guys, I am Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really awesome to show. This is my own invention. Basically what this is, is a mob collecting device. And it's completely AFK. What it does is, it's a slime farm. It's an everything farm, guys. It's a gold farm. It What it does is, it basically collects all the mobs at night. And all the mobs in the day. Over there I have a portal to attract the pig man, the zombie pig man. And they come out as well, and these carts will go around infinitely, AFK. And it will, okay, and it will pick up all the mobs wandering about, throwing them straight into the lava pit, straight into the hopper, back into the chest. And all the carts that go in to the hopper will get pushed back up through a dispenser and on their way again. As you can see, here is the gold farm, and you can see all the ender pig men coming out and getting collected as well. And there's witches out here guys, I collected a witch over there, and every mob you can imagine I have collected in here, in this little machine, without touching the machine guys, it's completely AFK. And there's a couple of zombie pigmen in there now, and they, as you can see they hit the cactus and they get burnt by the lava, and when they die their parts get taken through all these hoppers. Back out the dispenser, see that? The rotten flesh and the gold just gets popped out back into the hopper, back into the chest. If you guys would like to know how this is built, these are the things we'll need. We have a power rail, we need a regular wh rail whale as well, and we need a cart, a dispenser, we also need cactus and sand, we also need a bucket of lava for later, a grass, a grass block, and we will need some hoppers, and a chest as well and a comparator, and a repeater, and some redstone, there we go, they're about the things we need, and some redstone uh, torches as well to light these tracks up, so basically we're going to run a line, okay, so first thing we want to do is, let's just break a hole, not here, let's run a line underground, okay, so we want to put our hoppers down first, and the trick with this is every hopper will have to be connected into each other by crouch placing all the way to the end. Now keep in mind this is only very short for the tutorial and the video, but seriously you guys should go about three or four times this length. Okay, so I'm going to put another one here, and this will be the end part here. So we're going to actually make the lava contraption here. First thing we want is the sand and cactus, so that when the cart flies through without the mobs, the cart will break and get brought back through the hopper and re-dispense back into the track. So it's inf it's an infinite loop. That's why it's completely AFK. Um, I was watching TV today, and it's rare that I do that. I wasn't playing Minecraft. And the idea just popped into my head, and I was like, oh my god. And, and sure enough, when I mucked around with it, it worked. So that's why I'm building this today for you guys. And, and it works really well. I haven't even began to compress this yet. So this is just the timer I'm building here. So I've got two hoppers stuck into each other with a comparator and a repeater on four ticks. And put an object into the hoppers so that you get a continuous stream of ticks. And that will actually hit this dispenser here, okay guys? So this dispenser will pop out a brand new cart every time a cart breaks on this cactus. So let's just uh, fill up. Keep in mind, you might want to put hoppers around the cactus as well, guys, because I found that later on a lot of things got caught in there. I'll show you what I mean later as we progress. Okay, so now I'm just going to put uh, a wall across here to block it off from the timer. And I'm going to put a track on top of the dispenser and on top of all the hoppers. You can see every time the hopper reacts, you'll see the tracks will start to light up. And the tracks will fail to light up towards the end here, so you might want to put a redstone torch. Just make sure the tracks have full power. The only reason why that dispenser is going off is to recycle the carts. Okay, so now we've got this recycling timing set up. So let's test it out for the first time. This is what should happen. When you put a cart down, give it a little push to get it going. Like this, and it will hit the cactus, go back through all the hoppers back to the dispenser and it should pop out, there it goes. It'll just keep going around and around infinitely guys, and what you'll find is if you put more carts on the track, so that's pretty good, let's put some more carts on the track, one, two, one more, mm, couple, you will, we can put as many as you want guys, and it'll just keep going around and around, so when you put your mobs down, um, or when you collect your mobs, 
you can see basically all this is doing is bashing the mob against the cactus until it dies. When it does finally die, it will get trapped and be collected and everything will be like tossed out through the dispenser. Okay, so let's try other mobs. I found that it works with everything except for villagers as villagers have a hard time getting hit against the cactus for some reason. That's what gave me the idea for the lava, and this also works well for the cows if you want them to be cooked as well, so it also cooks all of your mobs as well. And, okay, so what we're going to do is create the lava contraption near the cactus, so first I'm just going to pull a wall either side, and put signs down to stop the lava from wrecking the tracks. So that's the main idea here, is just to build another wall up, so it's just a bit higher than the tracks. And now we can put our signs down on each one. And let's build another level up above the signs, in which our lava will get poured down. And let's protect the cactus from the lava. Okay, let's whack the lava bucket down, right here. So it shouldn't destroy anything. It will come down one block deep here. You can see I've removed a track underneath that lava block. So now it will burn pretty much everything that hits it. We don't want it coming out that far, so let's just put a sign underneath here. There we go. Okay, let's just block it up now and make sure no more lava gets out. And it should look something like this. So when your cow gets brought in, it will burn. And you can see his stake was left there. I'm going to have to add some more hoppers there. And here as well. As you can see, the dispenser is like just shooting out all of our loot. So we don't want that. So what we want to do is attach four hoppers either side. So let's break some ground away like this, about yay big. Uh, this is still experimental guys, this is the beta test of this version. I will uh, update this in the next few days and make it a lot better guys, because I've got so many more ideas for this. So far this is the basic principle. So I've got a chest either side because you never know where that dispenser is going to actually shoot out the loot. It seems to be only going to the right side, but you never know, so I'm just going to actually put two chests four chests, sorry, hooked into each other into the chest on either side. There we go. So, now you can see how this works. The cart will collect your, your mobs, kill the mobs, and recycle the carts, and recycle the mobs as well, all at the same time. So let's just get this thing working. There goes the cow and the chicken. There goes the chicken. So I'm expecting a feather and some steak and leather. So we got... What do we... We got the fe The feather just came in then. There we go. And there's a stake over here. As you can see, the stake is being lost here. Not very efficient. So what we need to do, guys, is break away the lamp. We're going to replace that with a redstone block, actually, later on to charge the track. We'll find a way. But let's just put a hopper in there for now. As you can see, that stake just got collected. Put another hopper into that hopper. So And then just do that on both sides and cover it up. Okay, so now this machine is 100% efficient. What we want to do now is create the second part to this. Not only do we want the carts going straight into the lava, that's not really going to get many mobs, because not many mobs are going to walk across that line. So what we want to do is make two lines. We want this one to go all around the map, wherever you want it to go, to collect all the mobs. You want it to get shot out, and then bounce back, and go around the whole track, collecting all the mobs. As you can see, all the cows are getting collected. And slowly but surely, they will come back around, they will hit that car and they'll go straight in. There we go, look at them all getting cooked away, guys. And that's pretty much it. There's a few little things I like to change here is the first track, you might want to bend it like this. So bend that first part in so it goes around the track first. When the carts come back, then they'll come back around. Then they'll turn into here. So put another bend, put another corner on that track like this. Like this. There we go. That's perfect, guys. See that? Now those cards are infinite. They'll go around and around forever, collecting mobs infinitely. AFKly. Foreverly. So not only that does it collect slimes, it, co it collects spiders, it collects witches, as you can see there. It, co it collects spiders and, and creepers and gold and gold, guys. It, and Enderman as well, guys. It pretty much collects everything. It's an everything spawner mob spawner. It's a Seraphim net catching device spawner. 
If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with the world. It helps this channel grow and it helps me grow. Thanks for...